Hello everyone. Just in the area series, we have already completed a square, rectangle, and you can say the circle. Today I am just explaining about the a sphere. So just to see what is the basic point in the a sphere. So a sphere is very important, and in this uh, you can see a lot of questions are asked in the interviews, placement exams, and other exams also. So first we learn about the basically a sphere. Okay. So you know a uh, sphere is a three dimensional solid figure. So in a sphere, a uh, support this is the center. Okay. So this is the center. So this is the radius of the sphere. And you can say this is the diameter. So this is suppose A, this is B, and this is the center of the sphere, and this is the point C. So this will be the radius. This will be the radius, and this will be the radius. And this AB will be the diameter that is the tower. So what is the basic formula in the a sphere? That is a total total surface area. That is T S A. Total surface area of the a sphere. So total surface area of a sphere is what? That is 4 pi r square. Where you know pi is what? 22 by 7 or 3.14. Same that is the We have to know that is the volume of a sphere. So this is volume of a sphere. Is what four by three pi r cube. These two are the basic formula in the a sphere. First one total surface area of a sphere that is four pi r square and volume of a sphere that is four by three pi r cube. So when radius is given, we will directly use this one. When radius is not given, that is diameter is given. Then you know the formula that is diameter equal to what? Diameter equal to half of the radius. So first you find that is the diameter equal to two r twice of radius. Okay. So radius will be how much? That is half of the diameter. So if diameter is given, we will find first radius and then we go for total surface area or volume of a sphere. So see, this is the first question. What is the first question? Find the volume and surface area of a sphere of diameter 14 cm. In this question, what is given? Diameter is given. So first you find radius. So what is the radius? Radius is that is 14 divided by 2. So this is how much? 7 cm is the radius. Now we have to find volume and surface area of the sphere. So you know that is the surface area. That is total surface area of a sphere is what? That is 4 pi r square. So you know 4 into pi is 22 by 7, and you know radius 7 given. So this is 7 into 7. Now this 7 cancel out. So you will get 4 into 22. That is 88 into 7. So this is 7 into 56. We have carry five seven eight the fifty six and five six one six. It is given in centimeter, so our answer will be how much? Six hundred one six. That is six hundred one six centimeter square. This is my correct answer. Total surface area of a sphere four pi r square. Four is four. Pi 22 by 7. Radius is already 7, so 7 into 7 is 7 cancel out. So this is 88 into 7. Our correct answer is 616 centimeter square. Now next is what volume. So we have to find volume. So you know volume of a sphere is what 4 by 3. 4 by 3 pi r cube. Volume of a sphere here 4 by 3 pi r cube. Okay, so just use this formula. Four by three. This is pi is given twenty two by seven. Radius is seven. So here seven multiply seven multiply seven. This seven cancel. Okay. So now this is four by three twenty two into seven into seven. So you can multiply this four four into twenty two that is eighty eight into forty nine by three. Right, so 88 into 49 by 3, that is centimeter cube. Volume we know is in cube. So this is your right answer. Just to multiply it and divide it, this is your correct answer. 
So volume of sphere is what? That is 4 by 3 pi r cube. So 4 by 3 pi is given, 22 by 7. R is given here 7. So 7 multiply 7 multiply 7. This 7 cancelled out. So 4 into 22, 88. 7 into 7, 49. Y3 is in your right answer. In the same way you see here. This is the question number 2. What is the question 2? The radius and the spherical volume increases from 7 cm to 14 cm. Okay? And air is being pumped into find the ratio of the surface area of the value in the two cases. So suppose R1 that is the radius in the first case is given what? That is 7 cm. And radius in the second case is given what? That is 14 cm. Okay, so find the ratio surface area of the value in the two cases. So ratio surface area means surface area of the first sphere, first case sphere. So you know surface area is 4 pi r square. So this is 4 pi r1 square and again here 4 pi r2 square. So this is cancel out. So this is what? R1 by r2 whole square. So this is R1 is given 7 and R2 is given what? That is 14. So 7 by 14 all is well. So 7 by 7, 7 by 14. So this is what? 1 by 4. So our correct answer is 1 ratio 4. So we can say that given there is a question, the ratio surface is of the value. So you know 4 pi r is plus 4 pi is the constant. So just we go for R1 by R2 all is well. So R1 is 7 and R2 is 14. So 7 by 14 whole square, that is 1 by 4. For this type of question, you can solve this question by verbally. Only watching the question, only reading the question, you can give this answer very correctly because ratio of surface area means that is R1 by R1 by R2 whole square. So this is 7 and 14. So 7 by 14 whole square, 1 by 2, that is 1 ratio 4. Now see the second question. Second type question is what? This is a very tricky question. The if radius of a sphere is increased by 20%, then find the percentage increase. If we solve this question by a basic method, that is if radius is suppose a, a x and 100, so it will if the radius is 100, then new radius will be how much? 120. Now you know area of a sphere is what? 4 pi r square and the first case you find 4 pi r square in second case this is the 20 percent so it will take a lot of time okay so there is a very tricky approach for this question that is percentage or uh, this is percentage increase percentage increase in area percentage in each area you can use the trick that is 2x plus x square by 100 Okay, what is x? x is the percentage increase in area. So here percentage in the area is given that is what is x? x is the percentage increase in radius or diameter because you know diameter is directly proportional to the radius. So if radius is increased or diameter is increased, fund is same. So radius of sphere is heat by 20% find percentage in area. For this type of question, Percentage in the area is what? 2x plus x square by 100. This is very important trend. What is x? x is the given percentage in the radius or diameter. Here given percentage in the radius. So just use x equal to 20. So this is what? 2 into 20 plus 20 whole square by 100. So this is how much? 40 plus 400 by 100. So this is cancelled out, you will get 44%. This is the 44% is your right answer. You can solve this question in other way also. Okay. Suppose for this type of question, suppose 100. Now you know area of a sphere is what? 4 pi r square. So 4 pi is constant, that is r square. So percentage in K is 100 plus. So this is 120. So you can write in this way also 120 by 100 and 120 by 100. Okay. So this 100 cancel out, this 0 cancel out. So this is 144. If our result is more than 100, that is increasing area. 
if our answer is less than 100, that is decrease in area. So here more than 100, so that is increase. How much increase? So this is 144 minus 100. So this is 44 percent increase in area. So our correct answer is what? 44 percent increase. So we can solve this question by this method also and this method also. Both these methods are the very tricky method. Now type number 3. This type number 3 question is also very important to see. In type number 2, we have seen that radius sphere increased by some percent. But in this question, radius of a sphere decreased by 40 percent, then find the percentage decrease area. For this type of question, again we have a trick. Because if you do this question by the basic, it will take a lot of time. Okay, so radius of a sphere decreased by 40 percent, find percentage decrease area. Or there is a question, the diameter of a sphere decreased by 40 percent, find percentage decrease area. Both questions are same because you know radius is directly proportional to the diameter. Okay, so what is the trick for this type of question? If radius will decrease by, so this is the trick percentage decreased in area. So percentage decreased in area is what? Minus 2x plus x square by 100. This is the important thing. What is x? x is the percentage decreased in the radius or percentage decreased in the diameter. Okay? Whatever given the question. In this question, radius of sphere decreased by 40%. So we will take x equal to 40. So if you take x equal to 40, so minus 2 into 40 plus 40 whole square by 100. So again this is minus 80 plus this is what? 1600 by 100. So this is cancel out. Okay. So this is minus 80. This is minus 80 plus 60. Now, what we can do mistake here also. This is negative and this is positive. So, minus 80 plus 16 is what? So, there is a one negative and one positive. For this type of addition, first you subtract from a greater number, from greater number is smaller number. So, this is 80 minus 16. So, 10 minus 6 that is 4 and 7 minus 1 6. And here, sign of greater number is negative. So here, negative. This negative so that decrease. So our right answer is what? 64% decrease in area. So percentage decrease in area is trick is what? Minus 2x plus x square by 100, where x is the percentage decrease in radius or diameter. Here radius is given, percentage is given 40%, so put x equal to 40. So you can solve this question by verbally only by watching the question. Minus 80 plus 1600 by 100. So this minus 80 plus 16, that is give 64. So minus 64 means decrease, so this is a 64% decrease in area. You can solve this question by other method also. So what is the other method? Other method is that the first you take 100. So this is 100. And now this is 40% taken. So 100 minus 40 is what? 60. So this is 60 by 100 and this is 60 by 100. So 100 cancel out, 0, 0 cancel out. What is this? 30. So this is less than 100. If the answer is less than 100, then they will take easily. So 100 minus 36, that is 10 minus 6, 4 and 9 minus 3, 64. So our correct answer is what? 64% here, 64% here. So we can solve this type of question by either this method, by this method. There is a third method also that is the basic method that is called lengthy method. So don't go for the basic method, let's solve by this tricky method. In this way, we have seen in a simple sphere three type of question. One from the first type, one from the basic question, formula question, and second and third types are for tricky questions. After that, we will in the next video we will uh, study about the hemisphere. Thank you.